What do you do with all these thin strips? Keep watching and I'll tell you. You know those free stir sticks you get at the big box store when you buy some paint? Well, if you felt like making really expensive versions, you could use your thin strips for that. Now I'm ready to take on the vampires. So you better watch out. Just joking. This is what I'm really gonna do. The nice, thin, flexible strips I like to use to help spread my glue. One of my favorite ways to use a thin strip is attaching sandpaper. Uh, either I get some double-sided tape and stick on some sandpaper or get some sticky back sandpaper. And that way you can get into thin spots. <laughs> And I like to do one side uh, coarse grit, like this is uh, 60 grit, and the other side is 120. That way it makes it real simple to switch grits. If your thin strips are a little bit thicker like this one, you can use them as a push stick on your bandsaw. And the best place to store it is right here in the miter slot. Another way you can use one of these thin sips is to add splines to miters. If you want to make uh, repeated circles of particular dimensions, just measure them out like this, use a nail, and then use a piece of pencil and you can mark all the circles you want like this. With these really thin strips that are tapered, I like to use them when I have a project that for some reason has a little bit of a wobble to it. Like this. What I do is I find the offending piece and then we'll slide this tapered piece underneath until I get to the spot. It takes care of the wobble, cut it off, slip it underneath that foot and you're golden. I hope you enjoyed that video where I showed you a few different ways I like to use these thin strips of wood. If you've got any other ways, let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I always appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and share it with a friend. Until next time, cheers! And have a great day.